Hi, I'm Dr. Adarsh Anapredi. I am an orthopedic and joint replacement surgeon at Sunshine Hospitals. I specialize in total knee replacement, partial knee replacement, and total hip replacement surgeries. Uh, in our previous video, we spoke about the total hip replacement. And in this video, we'll be speaking about the post-operative care after a total hip replacement surgery. So the hip surgery itself takes around one and a half to two hours. And after the surgery, the patient is shifted to the surgical ICU. We keep him there for a day for observation. And usually by the second day, if everything is fine, the patient is shifted to the ward. After the surgery itself, uh, we make the patient walk with the help of a walker and we start the physiotherapy exercises to increase the strength of the muscle around the hip joint. Uh, the patient can be discharged in a couple of days and after going home, the patient has to make sure that everything at home has become completely baby proof. That's to prevent any falls, like there should be no loose rugs, there should be no low lying tables. Make sure that the gowns that they're wearing or the clothes that they're wearing end above the ankle so that they don't trip over their own clothes. These are some important things to take care of. Another important thing is make sure that the wound doesn't get wet. The wound that is the area of the stitches has to become has to remain completely dry. Otherwise, there is always a chance of an infection starting there. So a patient who has had a hip replacement surgery should make sure that they don't have a regular shower or a bath for a couple of weeks. Only a sponge bath is allowed without wetting the uh, wound. After a couple of weeks, the stitches can be removed and then they can resume normal shower or normal bath. At home, physiotherapy is extremely important. A physiotherapist is made available for the first month and the physiotherapy is done under supervision of him. One precaution to take is, especially this is a specific to a hip replacement surgery, when the patient is lying in bed, make sure that there is a pillow in between the two legs. So the, the leg should always be separated. We call this as an abduction pillow. The reason for this is, if the legs do cross in the first one month, there is always a chance of the ball dislocating out of the cup. This is only for the first month, it's a precaution. After the first month, when the hip muscles do increase their strength, the chances of this dislocation reduces greatly, and then they can re resume their normal activity. One of the restrictions that we tell our patients after hip replacement surgery is, we advise them not to squat and not to sit cross-legged. Make sure that they're always on a chair, always sitting on a stool or a chair. A lot of patients ask the question about uh, what foods to take and what food to avoid uh, after a surgery, especially a knee or hip replacement surgery. Uh, they feel they has, they're under the misconception that food like dal, pulses and curds, they may cause infections. Complete misconception, it's not true. Any kind of food can be taken without any harm to the joint. Another point is about the discomfort after the surgery, the pain that a patient may feel after the surgery. Uh, frankly speaking, the hip replacement surgery is much more comfortable than a knee replacement surgery. Uh, patients who have gotten a hip replacement surgery, they usually recover faster with much less pain than a patient who has had a knee replacement surgery, although the final outcome is good for both. Uh, if you ever do find some kind of discomfort in the hip joint, it's always better to come and see the doctor and uh, get an x-ray done to make sure that there's nothing wrong with the joint. Otherwise, basic medication and ice packs will help to reduce that amount of, mild amount of pain. So, uh, you may ask, how is my new hip different from my natural original hip? Well, once the hip joint starts to wear out in arthritis, what happens is, if you see this cartilage starts wearing out and the, the space in between the joint, the ball and the cup starts to reduce, starts to reduce and reduce and the limb, the limb length also reduces. So, before the surgery, the affected side may have a little bit of a shorter limb. But once the hip joint has been replaced, the height of the limb comes back again and both the limbs become equal again. So, in fact, you may feel improvement over uh, the limb length from before the surgery and after the surgery. So, how do you take care of your hip joint post a hip replacement surgery? As I said, uh, physiotherapy is very, very important. If you keep strengthening the uh, muscles around the hip joint, it increases the life of the hip joint as well. So, that's very, very important. And follow-ups are very imperative as well. Uh, immediately after the surgery, don't need to come back to the hospital. But in the first, after the first two weeks, you have to get the stitches removed. Can be done at home if you have a good doctor coming home or a nurse. Otherwise, come to the hospital and get it done. The first month after the surgery is a very important follow-up. You have to come and show to your doctor, get an x-ray done to check whether the joint is fine and how, everything, how the bones are doing as well. After that, regular follow-ups, maybe once every three months. And after the first year, once every year, should be enough to take care of the joint. In conclusion, to take care of the hip joint post hip replacement surgery, you have to think of the following things. First, make sure the wound doesn't get wet. Okay, make sure that only a sponge bath is taken. The wound should not get wet at all uh, until the sutures are removed. The second point is, 
make sure that the legs do not cross. When, especially in the first month after surgery, make the legs wide apart, keep one pillow in between, this is known as the abduction pillow, to prevent any dislocation of the hip joint. The third point is make sure the house is completely baby proof or basically to avoid any chance of a fall and fracture again. That is removing of the loose rugs and making sure that the gowns are above the ankle height at least.